Welcome to Python Beginner 6, Iteration. Every video will have all slideshows and code available in the description. Iteration is part of the third concept of, of programming, which is repetition. Repetition is the process of repeating it blocks of code. This could be a defined amount or until a certain condition is met. Python has two main ways of repeating code, the for loop and the while loop. The for loop is used to iterate over a known number of times, which in Python is a list. So, if we want to iterate over a specified number of times, e.g. 10, we use the range function and we enter, enter the number and that will create a list of range numbers. So let's look at how the for loop can be used. First, let us create a for loop to print out hello five times. Let's create a new toot6.py file. Okay, so vim toot6.py. Okay, now let's define our main function, which we learned in the last tutorial, to keep our code nice and neat. So def main brackets colon and we tab in now to create a for loop we use some syntax so we use the keyword for then a value to indicate how far through the loop we are so so far so an index so call it i in and then we can either put a list here or we can use the range function. So the range function, if we use range, open bracket, 5, will generate a list. And then we use a colon to specify that this for loop is continuing. And then we indent twice. So we're indented once from the for loop. And then we print hello. Now we exit out of our, fun our main function and we start the program so we do if underscore underscore name underscore underscore it's equal to open quotes underscore underscore main underscore underscore close quotes colon we execute main so we call our main function so this is rather simple and elegant let's save it and now let's check it out. So if we run this, oh, whoops, ran the wrong thing. Uh, if we run toot6.py, we get hello five times. So already you can see that this is quite useful and saves us some time writing the same thing over and over. So let's edit our file and we'll create a list of words and we'll print that that list using a for loop okay so what we'll do is we'll add this to our current program so we open up and edit our program so in our main let's jump down to the one indentation from the four so we're indented once from the very left and we'll create a list so let's call it words words is equal to a list so we open with square brackets and we enter in our strings so let's do cat bat and we separate each item in the list with a colon hat rat and sat and we close our list with a square bracket and now to use our words list let's do intent one again and then let's for for word in words so for each word in the words list we colon to continue and then we indent twice let's print out word so let's print out the word now we can save and
quit. And now let's run that program. And as you see, we get the hello five times, and then we get our list of words that we made printed out using just the one print function. Because it repeats that print function five times, and there's a different word in the, in the list for the five different indices. Easy peasy. Now, let's look at the while loop. The while loop repeats a block of code until a boolean expression is false. So let's create a while loop that asks the user to input a value greater than zero. If they don't, let's ask them again. Editing our existing program, let's add our while. So, once a positive integer is input, we'll exit. Okay, so let's edit our program and we'll add our while to the end of our previous functions. So, in main, one indent in, we'll create our while. So, let's create a num and we'll make it equal to zero to start with. Now let's do a while, open brackets, you don't require the open brackets but they it's easier if you put them there, num is less than or equal to zero, while num is less than or equal to zero, colon, tab in twice, num equals int open brackets raw underscore input open brackets please enter a positive positive integer now now let's try running our program so we save and quit Oops, save and quit Ah. So quit, and then we run it, and then it will ask us to enter a positive integer. So if we enter something like negative 5, it will ask us again. If we enter something like 0, it will ask us again. 6, it will it'll allow it, and it will continue. So, yeah. So a while is useful here because we don't know how many times the user will input the wrong thing. If we want, we can make a while loop go forever until it's interrupted by the keyboard with with a shortcut control C. So let's make one for fun. This is called an infinite loop. So it never ends until the program is interrupted. So because a while loop runs until it's false, if we make it while true, meaning it can never ever be false, it will keep going on forever. So let's edit our toot 6 and we'll make the while print out hello in an infinite amount of times. Okay, so we edit our file and what we'll do is we'll get rid of our code inside here. Oops. Get rid of all and we'll just create our while. So we use while true. I can't remember that needs to be capital. Yep. Capital T on the true. While true print open quotes hello close quotes. Now let's run this and we'll see what we get. Let's run it, and as you can see, I got my console here spamming hello. So if I try and scroll up, just oh, oh god, what have I done? Uh, there we go, a bunch of it spamming down there. So to to interrupt this, we use Control C, and it will inform us that we have interrupted keyboard interrupt and that's an infinite loop you want to try and avoid these because obviously 
people aren't all going to know how to interrupt a program. And yeah, so this concludes our look at iteration in Python. Don't fear if you don't remember all of this. You can easily come back and rewatch this video to consolidate all the information. If you have any questions and you can't find the answer after a quick Google search, feel free to leave it in the comments. Next, we'll be covering file.io. Thanks for watching.